Now let's add some interactivity to this. I'm going to dock this panel just to get it out of the way. And zoom back in on this diamond by hitting F. And to clear up some of this extra stuff, we can go to Filter, None, and that will hide some of the interface elements around the edges. Alright, now in the patch editor, let's move runtime over because we're going to do some stuff in here. Now if we take this and add an offset patch, what this patch does is takes an input and if it gets a trigger or a pulse in here, it'll start this back at zero. Even though this number is going to be increasing constantly, this will kind of reset things. So if we plug it in, nothing will happen because we can't ping this yet. So to do that, let's add a screen tap and then plug that directly in here. So now if the screen is tapped, it will reset this offset starting this back at zero. So let's see if this works. Clicking up here doesn't do anything because we're on the pan mode. So click up here and go to simulate touch. And now you can see there's a little circle simulating like what your finger would do. And now clicking this will, well, it's doing two things. It's resetting the rotation. So you can see here, it's at two, three, four. We click it again, back at zero, one, two. But it's also moving around. And that's because in this plane tracker, and actually in this placer, all of these are controlled over in this whole mess of patches. And this just gives you some options where you can click and drag to move stuff around. So the screen tap here and the screen tap over here are both doing something. So that's why we have it resetting and moving this thing around.